Hello my little Notion nerds, today we are making a newsletter template in Notion. Follow along if you want it, it's free, link in the description, but don't stop watching, I can already feel that you're going to do it, and you're going to ruin my average watch time. Stick to the end, build it with me, and if you fail, then just download the template because it is free. Okay, here's the stuff that we need. We need a database with the actual emails, we need a database with a calendar, we need a place for our templates, we need a CTA database, we need a Kanban board, and we need an inspiration database. There's a lot of stuff that we need, so let's just jump straight into it. Forward slash D-A-T-A, -A, table view, new database, emails. So in here, let's just make this actually to start with ideas, right? So the ones that I'm, oh, you know what? Let's call it newsletters. That makes more sense. This is where we're going to write down our ideas. So this one doesn't have to be too fancy. It's not fancy. Now we want another place where we can actually see a calendar. So what we're going to do is write table view. And now we're going to select this same database, newsletters. So if you don't already see it here at the top in your most recent, you can just search. So search for newsletters and or whatever you called it and it should come up. So you click on that. And now what you can do is copy an existing view. So I'm just going to do that to make it easy. I'm going to go up to the top here, click on these three dots and click on full width. Now this, like I said, I don't want it to be a list view. I want this to be a calendar. So I'm going to click on the three dots. I'm going to click on layout and then I'm going to click on calendar. Look at that, we have an amazing calendar now. It's so beautiful. Now, as you can see, the date column here magically appeared. That's because it's the same database and to make a calendar, you have to have a date column. And because it's the same one, it, it's just going to magically appear here. Of course it's magic. So when I have an idea for a newsletter, what's the deal with airplane food? As you can see, it doesn't show up here in the database. It's not in the actual calendar database. That's because it doesn't have a date associated with it. We have no game, no car, and you don't have a date either. But when I click on here and I click on the 23rd, let's say, look at that, magically it appears. But these are just our ideas. We want to see a Kanban board, like I mentioned. So this is what we're going to do. Right click on ideas. We're going to click on duplicate. Now in this duplicate, we're gonna call it Kanban. Is that how you spell Kanban? Kanban. It is. Now that we've called it Kanban, we're going to click on the three dots. We're going to click on layout and we're going to click on the board view. Click on that. Look at that. Now there's only a no status. So we're going to have to create some statuses. So here, as you can see, magically it's appeared. Well, that's magic folks. And that's why I'm here. Again, it's because we have a Kanban board view now in this database. So it's going to need one. So anytime I have an idea, I'll put it in here, subscribe to this channel and it will just appear in this list but we don't want it in the Kanban board view because all of our ideas, it's going to end up being a very long list. So we just want a few draft. One is written and one is scheduled or uploaded, kind of the same thing, just meaning it's out of mind, it's on the system and live. I'm actually happy with the colors for these, but if you want to change it, just click on these three dots and then you can change the color that you want. So here in Kanban, now you can see no status, drafts, live, uploaded, written. So this order here doesn't make any sense. We're going to click on the three dots. We're going to click on group. And then here you can see it's grouped by status, which is what we want. We don't want the no status showing. So we're going to click on this little eyeball here. And as you can see, it magically disappears. It's gone. And then we can reorder these by holding on the six dots. So first draft, then written, then uploaded, and then live. So here we have a very good Kanban board. So we can just drag this like this. And as it gets dragged into uploaded, we go back and you can see the status has changed here to uploaded. And now if I add a status to subscribe to this channel from being empty, so it's just an idea, to being a draft, you'll see here it's now sitting in draft. Okay, we have a place for ideas. We have a place for our Kanban board. And we have this calendar. But how am I meant to know what stage this guy is in? What's the deal with airplane food? How am I meant to know where it is? I don't want to click on it to find out the information. Oh, okay, it's been uploaded. I want to see that already here. So I'm going to click on the three dots. I'm going to click on properties. And then here we can see status and we're just going to click on this eyeball. And now you will see that uploaded. I can see where it is along in the process. And if I change this, it changes here to draft. It changes here to draft and it changes here to draft. So this is live. Where am I going to track the data for this? Well, let's create a new database down here. Do it forward slash DA table view. And now we're going to select again the same database. So we want the newsletters one and it's coming up for my most recent here. So I'll click on that. Now we're going to change this from ideas to live or published, whatever you want to call it. Now the problem is we're seeing this live one, we're seeing the draft and we're seeing whatever this blank one is. Blank. 
So we want to remove these so we only see the live. Now bear in mind, if you delete this here, so I'm just gonna show you, blank is up here. If I delete this here, because it's the same database, it's gonna get removed up here as well. So we don't wanna be doing that. What we want is to add a filter. Got like a, like a filter. And this filter is only going to be added to this database. So we add an advanced filter and we're going to change it from where the status is and we only wanna tick in live. So you can tick in multiple stuff, but we don't want that. We only want the live stuff showing up. So here we can see the newsletters that have gone live and it's what's the deal with airplane food, publish date, December 23rd, status live. And then if you scroll up, as you can see, it hasn't affected this one, hasn't affected the Kanban board, it's just affecting this. Now for the newsletters that have gone live, we wanna see a few different things. So we're going to click here and we're going to do a number and we want to see the open rate. We want to see the clicks. And lastly, we're going to want to see the CTA mentioned in the newsletter. So how are we going to do that? Well, what we're going to do is do forward slash database. And now we are actually creating a new database. We're going to call this CTAs and create new database. Now in this, here you'll have your list of CTAs. So for me, it would be maybe my headquarters template. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's my all-in-one Notion productivity system that helps keep you organized, productive, and motivated. It auto organizes all your tasks. It's really cool. Check out the video at the end my streamline your work life mini course that's pretty cool if you haven't checked that out check that out as well and then i have a 100 percent free productivity playbook it's basically an email based course where you get a bunch of advice on how to be more productive delivered straight to your email over a few days so here i'm going to have my ctas these are the ones that i'm going to be mentioning in the newsletters so in the newsletter i only really want one cta per newsletter most likely so I want to track in this database, which of these CTAs am I mentioning? So to do that, we're going to click on plus. We are going to scroll down. We are going to click on relation. And then we are going to click on CTAs. So this new database that I just created. And then on here, we want it to be related to CTAs. The limit, we want to be no limit, meaning we can have multiple if we want. And we want to show on CTAs. So I'm going to click show on CTAs and then click add relation. Now, as you can see, this magically appears here. So I can delete this tags here, that's unnecessary. And now this status here of live, we don't need to see that because we know these are only the live ones. It's the live ones that throw me. <laughs> now you do not want to delete property because if you delete this property, it will affect this as well. But what we can do is hide this property and it's only hiding it in this view. So if we delete it, it will delete from this as well. As you can see, open rates and clicks and CTAs has been added to this. But what we want to do is hide it because it's only hiding it in this view here. So click hide in view and then we're going to go up here and all of these for the ideas, we might want to know which CTA in the idea stage, but we definitely don't need to know clicks. So we'll do hide in view. We definitely don't need to know open rate. So we'll hide in view and then status. I'm just going to make shorter like this, drag to the side like that. And we're going to want to add a filter to this as well now. So we don't want to see the live ones. These are just the ideas. So we're going to click on filter. We're going to click on add advanced filter. And we're going to do where the status is not. So we do not want to show anything that is live or uploaded or perhaps even written. That's up to you. But I think we might not want to see written either. So we might want to see stuff that is draft, but we also want to see stuff that doesn't have any status associated with it. That's the important bit here. What we could do is create a status that's called idea, but that's going to be a lot of work. Why would we give ourselves that extra stage of adding, oh, this is an idea and then selecting that each time. We don't want to do that. We want to make it as easy as possible. Now, there's many other people that send newsletters out there. It's sadly not just you. By the way, I do it too. If you want to subscribe to my Notion newsletter, please, please do that. But what we want to do with that is actually find a place where we can collect inspiration. So let's scroll down to the bottom and do forward slash database. And you guessed it, we're going to create a new database here called email inspiration. Click on new database. And then in here, we can copy and paste any time that we get inspired by an email. So let's just take an example. So the subject line was how to blah. And the text was blah, 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 blah. And then we're going to change tags. We're going to rename this to creator or writer or whoever. And it was written by Mr. Blah. And then going to drag this, put that on the side. And then here, anytime we find a bit of email inspiration, we can put it in. So we can select Mr. Blah or create a new one. And then we can copy and paste and put that in here. This will just make it easy for us to have this one place where we can put in email inspiration. 
Okay, I know what you're thinking. Oh my god, this is amazing. I really should be subscribing right now. This has changed my life. I know, I know, I get that. Thank you. But I'm a visual person. I also want to see this in a visual way. I totally get that. So the live ones, let's say they all have photos in them. Most likely your emails might have a photo. So how do we see this as a gallery view? Well, this is going to be very easy to do. We're just going to right click on live and do duplicate. And we're going to call this gallery. Gallery? Gallery? No, gallery. Gallery. Click on the three dots, click on layout, and click on gallery. Now this is a very large tile, so we can change the size. Click on the three dots again, click on layout, and we're just going to change the card size from medium to small. Now there's a few way of adding images here. One way is from the cover. So if you add cover here, and we'll change the cover to an airplane, airplane, there we go, and then click away. You can see it's not showing up. Now the reason for that is we have it by the default setting of an image showing up here. So if you include an image in here, that's what's going to show up. It's going to be showing whatever is in this space here. So where your actual text is. Hello world, thanks for subscribing to my newsletter. So you can see that's what we're seeing here. But if we want to see the banner, we're going to click on these three dots. We're going to click on layout again. And then here we're going to change the card preview from page content to page cover. And as you can see, we can now see that photo. And look, I know what you're thinking. Oh my God, this is fantastic. You are my favorite Notion creator. Thank you. Stop with the flattery. What we want to do now is create a template for creating newsletters. So to do that, we're going to go up here, click on this little down arrow here, and you can see here templates for newsletters. So that will create a template for this, this, and this. So click here, create new template. Now you can use this for any time you write a newsletter. So I'll just call it template. Now you might start with hello name, hope you are splendid. Topic one, topic two, topic three. And then we can change these to headers, click on the six dots, turn into, let's do a heading three, heading three, heading three. So now let's say that this is our template. Obviously you might wanna have it a bit more intricate than this. We can click away and then we have this in our template database. So now when you go to create a new newsletter in any of these, so either this one, this one, or in this one, you will have that option. So let's do it in here, click on new idea. And then what we can do is click on open and you'll see here template. So I click on that and then magically template appears here. So this is our subject line, sale, sale, sale. And then you can see here, this is loaded in. Hello name, hope you're splendid topic one, two, three. Now you might want a bunch of different templates, so you could create a few ones. Oh, this is my template for when I write a very personal one, a template for when I do a sales email, a template for whatever. So you could do a bunch of different templates and then select the one that you want to work with for that email. So for this sale, sale, sale one, we should say the CTA is, and then we click here, and then you can see these options are appearing. So these are appearing from this CTAs database that we created before. So we'll click here. This sale, sale, sale is for the Streamline Your Work Life mini course. If you're this far into the video, you know what? I'll give you a sale for the Streamline Your Work Life mini course. Use code newsletter and you'll get 25% off. Okay, so here we have the newsletter Notion template. Now I've seen others, but I think they are a bit too messy and they require a bit too many things to fill out. If you've been building along, that's fantastic. If you do want to download this template, you can. It is completely free. Link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and make sure you subscribe.